Hi guys, Craig here. Listen, do you want to make something easy peasy, cheesy and greasy? <laughs> I know I do. I practically live on it. Except when I'm eating salads. But when I'm not, I'm going hardcore on flavour and taste and making something super easy. You've already read the title, so you sort of have some sort of idea what it's going to be. But it is a nice easy schnitzel, ham, cheese, toasty. That's what we're making today. Let me show you the ingredients. Alright, so for this, all I'm using is some store-bought chicken schnitzels. I picked these up for a dollar on special. Yes! I got some ham here. Picked this up for half price. Yes! <laughs> I got some Turkish bread here. Guess what? Picked it up for a dollar forty from four dollars. Yeah! Some cheese. You guessed it. Half price! And I got some tomato salsa here. I paid full price for this. But it was only a dollar ninety. So all in all, it's a pretty cheap meal when you know how to shop. But of course, I'll also be using some of my favourite product. Butter. Oh yeah, I love this stuff. There's only two utensils that you'll need for this, and you can do it in one really. But I've got two, so I'll use them both. A frying pan, and I've got a sandwich toaster here, or a sandwich press. I'll go with press because that's what's written on the machine. Anyway, let's start making these bad boys. So for starters, we'll heat up the frying pan and add some oil in, because we've got to cook these schnitzels. Get this oil shimmering. Hopefully that won't take too long. Now a good way to know if your oil's hot enough is not to touch it with your finger, but get your food that you want to fry in there and just see if it starts bubbling and making a sound. Not quite yet. So we'll just wait. Right, 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 uh-huh. Okay, that should be ready now, right, okay. So we'll start these cooking. Now these ones are usually pre-cooked anyway, so you literally, you're just heating them up. <laughs> but you want them with that golden color on both sides, so. Uh, we'll just fry them until they're a nice golden brown. On both sides. Yeah, not on one side. Because you want both sides cooked, not one. Oh boy. Imagine having one side cooked. Ugh. And while that's frying, how about we prepare some of the other things, like grating some cheese. I don't know how much you use, but I use quite a bit. Oh gee, I nearly used this whole thing. That should be enough for the two schnitzels though. Oh boy, I better come and check these schnitzels. Oh, don't want to burn them. Oh, that's perfectly cooked. Looks like a Domino's pizza. <laughs> okay, and while that other side's cooking, move over cheese, because the bread is coming through. Now, depending on the size of your schnitzel, is how big your bread's got to be. But, look, I'll cut this one about here. This one about here. I've got a little bit left over for the birds down at the lake. Even though you're not supposed to feed bread to birds for some reason, oh, I don't know. I can't see the problem with feeding a bird some bread. If it eats it, then that's got to be good, right? Something to do with the digestive system. <laughs> oh, who knows, mate? Who knows? Anyway, we're cutting this in half. That bread's looking awful dry, isn't it? Well, it should be. It's been in the freezer for a week. So, I'll just add a little bit of olive oil over the top. Add a bit of moisture in there. Bit of colour and a bit of flavour. Ooh, we better check these schnitzels. Make sure they're not fully dominoed. Well... Not fully, but they've got the nice golden colour, which is what I've been wanting to get. So, next, we should drain this off on a piece of paper to get the oil off. I'm not doing that. Do you know why? Because I'm too cool for school. But before we add the schnitzel on, we've got to start heating up the old sandwich press. So we'll turn that on, get that heating, and now we'll start throwing these sangers together. So, 
on with the schnitzel and next we'll add some salsa what flavor is this one mild anyway doesn't matter it's a nice salsa one that you'd normally stick on your corn chips we're spreading this on because we want some moisture in this dish and without this it's not going to be very moist although because I didn't drain my schnitzel oil it could be pretty moist <laughs> so next on top of the schnitzel and salsa we're going to spread some ham the next best thing to bacon is ham comes from the same animal so tell you what pigs know how to create some good meat I tell you then on top of that we'll throw our cheese this is actually a vintage cheese I'm using today because I had some left over you can use cheddar we could use your provolone or your Swiss cheese or whatever cheese you like I'm using this because I had it in the fridge and you know what I love things nice and spicy so on top of this we're going to be adding some chili although there's a bit on the end there that doesn't look too appetizing does it so I'll just get rid of that first and while I've got the grater out and it's still dirty I'm gonna wash it anyway so it's just gonna grate some chili onto here if it actually comes through which it sort of isn't it's sort of stuck in there so let me take it out with my hands <laughs> and just dab it on like it's sun lotion now if you do do that with chili make sure you don't rub your eyes afterwards because it'll oh, it'll start stinging oh. alright now if I can see what I'm doing for the rest of this video uh, we'll finish this off oh. Oh. So now let's grab the butter and the schnitzels. Ugh. Come to the workstation. Okay. So now that's nice and warm. I'm not going to touch it after touching my eye. Ugh. So we'll grab some butter. Put some down here. Get it in there. And now we'll grab our schnitzel, place one there, the other one here. Now we'll grab our Turkish bread, stick that one on top, stick that one on top there, and with some extra butter, spread that over, and push it down. sound. It's the sound of success fellas and I'm loving the success. And now we just have to cook that until it's nice and golden brown and toasted evenly all over. Oh boy, can't wait. <laughs> well it's sounding pretty successful. Let's take a look. Oh man, that smells so good. So anyway, how about we whip these off? They're coming off nice and easy. Alrighty, well there we go. There's the ham and cheese chicken schnitzel toasty. I think you know what time it is. It's time for the toast and ham, cheese, tomato and schnitzel taste test. Alrighty, well that's that ham, cheese and Salsa schnitzel toasty. I just whipped up. How easy was it? So easy to throw together, wasn't it? Especially when you don't have to make the schnitzel. Let's see how it goes. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Hmm. It's kind of 
kind of like nachos. It's kind of like a burger. It's kind of like a crispy pizza. It's like the best of all worlds all rolled into one. Giddy up, cowboy! Mmm. It was easy peasy, cheesy and greasy. Mission accomplished. Well, there you go, folks. A nice, simple, easy toaster sandwich recipe for you to try. If you do make it, I'd love to know what you thought about yours. Remember to show this video some thumbing love, subscribe for more, join my Patreon community as well. It really does help me going to make more videos like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for my next recipe right here on Greg's Kitchen. Catch you then. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is Greg's Kitchen where today I made a delicious ham and cheese toasty with a schnitzel. I used salsa as well. It was cheesy, greasy and cheesy peasy. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, yeah.